Sar Bomber, the Western moniker for the Soviet RDS-220 hydrogen bomb, code name Vonya, holds the record as the largest nuclear device ever detonated, symbolizing the apex of Cold War power play. Exploded on October 30, 1961, by the Soviet Union, its 50 megaton TNT yield remains unmatched in human history. This event represented the culmination of hydrogen bomb testing by both the Soviet Union and the United States during the era. The bomb also earned the moniker Kuzkina Mat, Kuzma's mother, possibly referencing Nikita Khrushchev's declaration at a 1960 UN session to show the United States a Kuzkina Mat, meaning we'll show you. It amassed several other nicknames including Big Ivan, Project 7000, and Product Code 202, is Delhi 202, with the Central Intelligence Agency labeling it Joe 111. Engineered by a team led by physicist Yuli Karatin, and including notable figures like Andrei Sakharov, Viktor Adamsky, and Yuri Trutnov, Tsar Bomber was designed as a three-stage hydrogen bomb with a Trutnov Babarov second and third stage configuration. This arrangement utilized a fission-type atomic bomb as the initial stage to compress the thermonuclear second and third stages. Some indications suggest Tsar Bomber employed multiple third stages. Though capable of potentially yielding up to 100 megatons, concerns about extensive nuclear fallout and the limited escape window for the delivery plane led to the decision to include a lead tamper instead of a uranium-238 fusion tamper in the third stage. The uranium-238 fusion tamper amplifies the reaction by fissioning uranium atoms with fast neutrons from the fusion reaction. Tsar Bomber, despite its immense power, actually generated minimal nuclear fallout. Transported by a 295V Soviet bomber piloted by Major Andrei Dernovstev, Tsar Bomber's detonation occurred at 11.32 Moscow time above the Michushika Bay nuclear testing range in the Arctic Circle. The bomb was set to explode at 13,000 feet, dropped from a height of 34,000 feet. The explosive yield of Tsar Bomber was around 1,570 times that of Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined, overshadowing the entirety of conventional weapons deployed during World War II. The detonation's aftermath showcased severe destruction. Buildings within 34 miles of Ground Zero, like those in Seveny, were razed. Distant regions suffered damage and radio outages, with the shock wave felt hundreds of miles away. Despite being an air-burst 13,000 feet above ground, Tsar Bomber's seismic magnitude reached 5 to 5.25, with shockwaves resonating even after three Earth revolutions. The Atomic Energy Commission's original estimate was 55 to 60 megatons, but post-Cold War Russian sources have confirmed it at 50 megatons. While predictions indicated ground contact, the shock wave's reflection prevented it. The bomb's fireball nearly matched the release aircraft's altitude, and although the plane dropped half a mile due to the shock wave, it escaped. Tsar Bomber's towering mushroom cloud reached approximately 40 miles, surpassing Mount Everest's height sevenfold. Its colossal impact and devastation spotlighted the incomprehensible power of thermonuclear weapons. An explosion of this magnitude in major American cities like New York, Chicago, San Francisco, or Washington DC, would obliterate metropolitan areas and large portions of their surroundings, leaving them almost uninhabitable.